All right, this one goes out to my buddy Cheap. So this is uh, ticker symbol Zella, X-E-L-A, and it has been making a downside continuation, but let's validate what could be happening for the asset. What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by once again on this fine Monday evening. This is Arca coming at you with a Zella technicals and raw price action threat of analysis. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share the video with a friend so that you and them could consider joining our trading community in Discord called Arca bulls. With that said, let's dive right into the charts. This is Zella on the daily chart, and we are looking at a descending triangle here that actually failed to the downside, which is absolutely known because it is essentially a descending triangle after of after a downtrend. Okay, which can be considered in a sense a bear flag. All right, you guys. So the downside on this was absolutely expected if we were tracing it right. But what we have to notice here is is that momentum represented by stochastic momentum, which is a proprietary indicator to TradingView software, uh, which by the way, guys, the link is in the description below, the affiliate link, okay? It helps me out when you guys sign up for these things for my trading future, okay? So it is suggesting a downside continuation, but please notice that we are in the overbought percentile, okay? So psychologically speaking, as soon as we start reaching that overbought percentile, the bear strength starts to minimize and we start to look at a potential upside swing, okay? So in this case, there are there are actually a couple ways that we can take the downside continuation. Uh, per the breakout Candle, we can actually take the width of the triangle itself and we apply it to that area of breakout to gain a price objective, which would essentially say that it would be about 5.91, so five cents. Uh, we're currently sitting at about 6.20. Okay, so it's uh, in all red, in I'm saying in relation to the price objective, this is fair. It's, what I mean by fair is that it's already pretty close to it, so there may be a little bit of a continuation, but this may be enough too. So let's go ahead and move on to the next chart because there are some very important things that I need to talk about, okay? So this <clears throat> on the this on the buy hourly chart is actually a descending channel. Now, the descending channel is usually a signal of a reversal or a bullish trend incoming, okay? As soon as it is uh, as soon as it is resolved. So this is following the golden rule of three very, very nicely. Okay, so let's go ahead and revise that golden rule of three. We need three tests of the resistance followed by a capitulation event. We have test one, two, three of the resistance, capitulation event, and now finding a huge bounce from that very bottom and support line of the descending channel. Okay, very interesting stuff. In the immediate short term time frame, we do have that SMA 10 right over here located as a form of resistance at 644 as likely to live out pretty fast. Okay, so which means that essentially what I'm saying is that we can use that as a form of uh, support. I'm sorry, resistance will come back. Uh, potentially to 602, slightly a little bit lower, thus fulfilling the the top, the bottom side of the triangle, right? Before we can continue on to the upside, but this is already showing signs of a continuation to the upside. Okay, so now I want to talk to you about a couple things that are indicating the bull signals. Okay, first of all, we're going to be looking at Arc Sniper. Okay, so this is a Cryptex indicator that I am actually offering you guys. So this indicator has a Bollinger Band, so it has volatility within it, right? It has a VWAP uh, with this yellow trend line here, uh, the volume weighted average price, right? And it also has uh, long and short signals as well. Uh, it has a lot of things for us to look at, and it also has the potential to read uh, bullish and bearish drive, uh, drives of divergence per momentum, okay? So what I want to do here is show you a couple things, first of all. First of all, first of all, let's go ahead and I'll get into the indicator uh, below this uh, in just a sec. The VWAP, the VWAP trend line is the yellow line, okay? So I just want you to notice that we have actually broken upside of the VWAP and this is now converted into a form of support. Very important thing here, okay? The next thing I want to touch on is the ARC whale spotter, okay, which is this indicator down here. So the indicator actually is comprised of several, several metrics. So this has uh, this has a money flow index, right? This has VWAP as well built in. Uh, the money flow index is actually this right here. Uh, it it does it does have momentum in it, so that means that it's RSI built. Okay, so the special thing as well, aside from uh, you know a lot of other things, right, <laughs> uh, is that this has the ability to locate both 
uh, both hidden and regular drives of bullish and bearish divergence, okay? So this line here, this green line, I did not draw that, okay? So if you can actually see that if we go into the hourly uh, chart, it disappears, see? So, and any day now, come on, there we go. So see, it disappears, it's not there. It actually has some, some smaller drives of divergence, but if we go to the buy hourly, it's very curious because I see it. Okay, so it drew a huge drive of hidden bullish divergence. Okay, so and now note this this line I did draw myself. Okay, so I wanted to just see if it matched it. So I drew it from the beginning of the line, right? So what it has to do is actually make uh, momentum a, a higher low while while price action is making a lower high. I'm sorry, a, a higher low, right? Or lower high, whatever. You know, it's always I always get confused by that, but. This is this is what we're talking about here. It is making the that, that divergence, okay? Downside and upside here. Very interesting that it did notice that. Okay, so the way we can validate is this, is this way. We have that drive of divergence here showing up on the 12-hour chart. And here is my ARC RSI, my, my signature RSI, right? So this is this is literally in play. And it's being shown by Will Spotter in a in a shorter time frame. This is the buy hourly. Very interesting. I love it. I love it. If you are interested in acquiring these indicators, please go ahead and send me a DM, and we'll go over the subscription packages for them. Okay. So let's go ahead and now refer to the RSI, which is going to be the last part of the analysis. In this case, we can actually see that the divergence drive is absolutely present, like we were talking about. And uh, th this is the chart here for you to reference how to distinguish your hidden versus regular drives of uh, bearish or bullish divergence. Okay, so divergence is the opposition of price action versus momentum based on the underside of momentum or the underside of price action versus the top side of price action and the top side of momentum. That's why this is here to tell you which one is which okay bullish side and bearish side all right you guys so now let's go ahead and open up a multi-pane here and uh, before i continue please know that i'm not a financial advisor take whatever i do show and iterate within these videos as just a form of entertainment as i cannot suggest for you to buy or sell any assets whatsoever okay you guys i need you to do your own dd and everything will be just fine okay you guys is not is not a problem i just have to say those those things you know what i mean so that i there's no uh uh, weird weirdness happening here. Okay, you guys. So please just go ahead and bear with me when I do say those things. Okay. So what we're gonna do here is load up the 30 minute immediate short term time frame, just like we always do. We're gonna be looking at that buy hourly. We're gonna look at the eight hour. Let's go ahead and load up the daily, and we'll also do the buy daily and three day. Okay. So the three day may actually be a little a little too. Uh, uh, maybe, but let's just go ahead and continue it. Okay, so the 30 minute immediate short term time frame is suggesting a continuation to the upside. Okay, and it's very much now in uh, the bear weakness percentile with no with no danger to the downside. Okay, but please know that this is the 30 minute and it's likely to live out fast. Buy hourly is suggesting a continuation to the upside and it's approaching the 14 day simple moving average represented by this pink line. It's, it's approaching that uh, area as a form of resistance. So it's in a sense, insinuating that this may be a limited upside, okay? Let's go ahead and continue. So the eight hours suggesting consolidation. Let's see. Uh, let's go to the 12 hour and uh, 12 hours suggesting limited upside as well. We're, we're gathering the puzzle pieces here, okay? So uh, daily time frame is suggesting a little bit of a downside continuation, slightly, uh, slightly bullish with the 14 day still pivoted towards the upside. Slightly bearish because uh, the pivot of the bears, I'm sorry, the pivot of this uh, RSI signal is not as, um, you know, significant or is not as, as, as strong as this pivot here. Okay, so you can see that there is a loss of bear strength thus far. Okay, so in this case, we can actually see the buy daily suggesting a very limited downside too. And this is why I'm saying that we could maybe maybe have found that uh, reversal point. Okay, so we may have found the floor here for Zella and there could be a continuation to the upside. I know that uh, a lot of uh, analysts do not believe that this type of uh, analysis works for such small and heavily shorted uh assets right but we this is per request and i will absolutely fulfill that request for uh, my friend and i want i want to make sure that he's uh 
yeah, that he he knows I'm looking out for him too. Okay, you guys. So, uh, and also consolidation on the five day. Okay, you guys. So this is very likely. Uh, it's what it, what it's telling me is is that the asset is still in shock uh, from such a huge downside, right? So if it is if it is still in shock, then then yeah, then we could be at the bottom of that channel, and then we could also be realizing the upside and regain this uh, inside of the of the triangle. Okay, so the upside continuation could be soon, but we're looking at some sideways trading, slightly bearish, uh, slightly bullish for the next few days. Okay, you guys, but I do, I, I am thinking that we are at or very close to that bottom being, uh, being that, um, let, let's see, just, I mean, very deep, five cents, 594, 590, 590, right around there. Okay, you guys, so with that said, uh, I wish you well, a very good night, and I will catch you at the bell. Manana. Adios.